What's up, everybody? It's Young here, and welcome to a Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots Young play. We are about to witness the longest cutscene ever. I mean, literally ever. I think this uh, broke records in uh, Guinness World Records. I think this is the longest cutscene in a video game period, and I don't know if uh, there's any other game that has beaten this cutscene in terms of length. So yeah, I don't know if I'll get to gameplay Liquid. in this episode. Not bad. Where's the pigs? <laughs> that no longer matters. Where is it? <gasps> Awkward. Is that it? <laughs> well, all righty then. <gasps> oh, Mr. Sexy Vampire. Hmm, so fabulous. Yes. <gasps> you stupid Naomi. bitch. How dare you? Naomi told me everything. And now, thanks to her, I finally have it. The thing I've sought for so long. Big Boss. Put down the gun, Snake. It's already too late. Just shoot him. There. Mission over. You almost did it. But it looks like I win after all. Father's favorite. What hmm. do you say? Care for one last smoke? Huh. You think you're a big boss now? Bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Guilty as charged. But all that ends today. Oh, snap. That's reminiscent of MGS3. That intro. Oof, man. Oof. You're pretty good. Nice try. But when it comes to CQC, I've got the upper hand. Uh, even if you do get a hold of the system, you'll only have one part of the Patriots AI. Uh, the military part. Uh-oh. What of it, brother? It's only a matter of time before I have everything. Lap blows. Remember, GW? The AI they think they lost? It's mine. I'm a part of my army. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Impossible. We destroyed it. Oh, history lesson. Your worm only managed to cut GW into little pieces. Pieces we were able to reconstruct. And then we stowed it away inside JD's network. This man's body has served me well, allowing me to pass every security barrier between me and GW. After all, the Patriot system is nothing more than a machine. GW is a spook inside the network. There's no way JD would recognize it as an external threat. Once I destroy JD with a nuclear strike, the Patriots network will be mine. And then I'll build my haven, free from all forms of control. I'll cast aside my old identity and take my own name.
for the first time. Good for you. Uh, Liquid, you're planning to recreate the Patriots. Snake, we were created by the Patriots. <laughs> True. We're not men. We're shadows in the shape of men. Well, Ocelot's body is not a clone, so, you know, just saying. We're freaks who never should have existed. We're a sister. Insurance that future generations never prosper. Damn, again? The Patriots saw fit to create us. And in doing so, became our only raison d'etre. Raison d'etre. <laughs> I love the way he says that. Damn, that was like Dragon Ball Z level right there. My fate any longer. I'll kill Zero and Big Boss and become a patriot myself. Okay, that looks uh, a bit sensual. Our purpose in life is to fulfill our destinies. And once all is returned to zero, uh, the world can be reborn. A bit erotic, right here. Well, alrighty then. How's Snake not dead yet? That's three shock blasts. In like the span of like five minutes, probably less. Damn. So long as we both live, the world will not know an age of light. If we're to pass the baton to the next generation, the only choice left to us is death. Boss. Good. The players have all assembled, Snake. The time has come for you to witness. Witness our moment of triumph. He's so happy. Go. <laughs> Go. Agents are go! Elite beat agents, anyone? Great game, I think. Alright, well. That, uh, didn't end well for Snake. And company. Haha. <laughs> Fam's like, my eyes, my sexy eyes, no, my fabulous eyes. Uh-oh, diarrhea kid. Hold it right there, Liquid! <laughs> He's like, nope. So long, sucker. Shit's about to get real. Oh my 
god. That is a lot of men. For a handful of people. On a boat. really long, but I love it. I love this cutscene. I mean, Kojima is like really flexing his uh, cinematic muscles, so to speak. He's learned a lot. He's come a long way since uh, MGS1. He's like, <laughs> Fucking liquid ocelot. Doesn't get hammier than that. I think he had an orgasm or something. He jizzed. that happens. <laughs> I love the classic Metal Gear, uh, huh? What? Huh? All the soldiers sound the same. Just throw the knife. You guys know how to throw knives, right? Just, just, you know. The system is mine. Your guns and your weapons are no longer your own. Behold. Guns of the Patriots. Guns of the Patriots. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> Bang! Bang! This guy. Shit! He's all about theatrics.
Fatality. Brutality. <laughs> Liquid Ocelot wins. Oh boy. Die! <laughs> oh, you've got to love the, the little hand motions. The, the little, uh. The uh, imaginary gun. I think he's taking the whole Guns of the Patriots a little too literally. Bang! Oh boy, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh man, that is glorious. Thus is how Thus is how one man defeated an entire freaking army. Just complete ownage. Way to go, Naomi. Eastern Europe Massacre. I don't know specifically what country this is, so I'm just gonna call it the Eastern Europe Massacre. It's not over yet! Snake's having a really shitty day. Let them have it. We don't need it anymore. Ooh. That's, uh... That sucks. That was a stupid idea.
<laughs> Mr. Sexy Vampire. Got his shades on, like, yeah. Drop the mic. So, yeah, we've been uh, here for uh, 20 minutes ish right now, and uh, it's gonna keep going for a bit longer. Damn, he's like, he looks like a lesbian or something. I don't know. Look at those eyelashes. Good God, man. Those are the girliest eyelashes I've ever seen. Loved that. Totally, he's totally got a boner right now. A solid snake if you catch my drift. Meryl, don't give up on me. What did she do there? Was that a kiss? I can really, can really tell. Okay, Meryl. Hey, uh, if it's all right, call me Johnny. <laughs> Truth. Scorched shadows born to the world. Wow, okay. Way to rub when that in his face. Steps into the light. Uh, uh, unless the light is put out, the shadow cannot be erased. Thanks for th the tip. So long as there is light, there is shadow. To return everything to norm, the light must be extinguished. 
And when that happens, you will be too. That's a really sad moment, though. I mean, the guy just held his mother while she died. I mean, that's rough. His day just keeps getting worse and worse. Freaking liquid. Liquid Aslan. Oh, yeah, and his face is burned. Half his face. Solid two face. You. Like I said, we pride ourselves on service. <laughs> Come on, let's take this guy to his friends. <laughs> we pride ourselves on service. Bam! <laughs> Nice boob shot there. Classic Kojima. Do I get to save the game now? Okay, cool. Here we have the stats. Big Boss Hard. Total play time, 8 hours, 22 minutes, 10 seconds. Continue 0. Alert phase 0. Kill 0. Recovery items used. 0. I love it. 0. Lots of zeros. I dig it. Yeah, this is going pretty well. Man, I can't believe I've gotten this far under these conditions. It's, good. it's been a crazy ride, but uh, it's about to get uh, crazier, so let's save the game. And I guess I'll do the uh, debriefing in this episode as well. Um, we'll probably not get any gameplay, but uh, better than nothing, I suppose. Might as well just uh, get the cutscenes out of the way now so we can uh, focus on gameplay in the next episode. Okay. Wait for it. There we go. So yeah, that cutscene was like 20, 28 minutes long total or something. 27, 28 minutes. Crazy stuff. <laughs> that symbolism, though. What's she listing out there? Cities or something in Japan, I think. Maybe. Can that happen though? The yolks actually coming together like that? I've never seen that happen ever. you couldn't control the nuke with GW. We can't. We've taken over their guns and heavy weapons, but the WMDs are still under JD's control. That's where Rex comes in. Dun, dun, dun. I identify nukes they don't control. Vamp, how long until Rex is ready? All that's left is the final chair. Mm, We've yes. identified JD's location through GW and abandoned 20th century satellite orbit disguised as debris. A clever place to hide. Mm, 
satellite orbit. With a stealth nuke, there's no need to worry about the Patriots intercepting it. By the time they realize what's happening, it'll all be over. Oh, yes. Once, JD, the core AI is destroyed, GW's priority will rise to one, and all the systems under JD's control will then be ours to command. Now go, prepare our haven. Yes, brother. Huh? What the devil is this? No, no. This is not fabulous. Not sexy, vampire. Not very sexy. No. Yes. Huh? Mm. So yeah, Arakan is an idiot. I don't know why he the didn't just feed from the Mark II cuts off here. Just hide under the the, the chair. The, I don't know why he had to go out right behind yeah. Naomi. Revan was saying something about that. <laughs> In the beginning, the Patriot system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. One of those AIs was GW. The Patriots thought it had been destroyed, but Liquid was able to use it as cover to slip inside the system. <clears throat> Ooh, what's this? GW. I knew I'd heard that name before. <clears throat> <laughs> GW was one of the Patriot Cell AIs. It was installed on Arsenal Gear. Emma's worm should have put it permanently out of commission. But Liquid somehow recovered and repaired it. I'm guessing JD must be unable to recognize GW, even though it's inside the Patriot system. What is this? It's a blind spot. GW was written off as lost while it was still tied in. <coughs> Using it let Liquid interfere with the AI from the inside. He made contact under the guise of Big Boss's genetic code. Bam. When the AI threat detection system was fooled. <laughs> By the Patriots AIs. <laughs> She's having so much fun. It all makes sense now. That's why about, they made but... Arsenal go berserk five years ago. GW was on board. Where is this Aiden? Where is their base? Don't worry. Oh, battery. Ling is using the position of the Mark II's nice. last transmission to predict the course <laughs> of the new ship. It's only a matter of time before we find him. <coughs> but that's not all Liquid said. It's something about rats being ready. Okay, rats. I think that's everything. Let's just watch the cutscene. Shadow Moses. Good times, good times. It's Campbell. And his hot wife. The U.S. military systems are all in Liquid's hands now. The regional systems have all been shut down. Guns are falling silent across the earth. It's the first total ceasefire in human history. <laughs> How's the White House responding? They're going batshit crazy. The president has yet to make an official announcement. But the media is starting to pick up on it. The information's gonna be controlled anyway. Not this time. The war economy is ground to a complete halt. It's tough to play down a crisis of these proportions. War economy-related stocks are already going into a freefall. Themselves at the White House right about now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. In any case, America had better sleep soundly while she still can. Liquid's insurrection is about to begin. I thought the it began. Thing he'll do a long time ago. to destroy the system that Patriots built to control the U.S. He's already taken the system. No. 
Supreme Authority still resides with JD, which the Patriots still command. Which is why Liquid plans to launch a nuclear strike on JD in its orbit. But Liquid only controls SOP, and SOP only controls guns and small firearms. Unless he gains Supreme Authority, Liquid can't use America's nukes and ballistic missiles. So how's he gonna launch this strike? That's where Rex comes in. <clears throat> Good question. The U.S. converted its nuclear arsenal to reliable replacement warheads two years ago. RRWs. Yes. The core of the RRWs is now completely ID controlled by the SOP system. You'd need supreme authority from JD itself to control them. And they can be shut down remotely in case of an emergency. All the old nukes were pulled out of service when they deployed the replacements. If Liquid can't use the nukes, then... <clears throat> then what's his plan? Oh, that's it. He's going to use Rex. What? Rex was scrapped before the Sons of the Patriot system was implemented. Of course. The Railgun. Indeed. Rex's Railgun can launch a stealth nuclear warhead into space unconstrained by the system. In short, into space, it's the Jesus. only device they have that is able to launch a nuke. Liquid's going to use it to kill JD and deliver the coup de grace to the Patriots' reign. Campbell, where's Rex now? I think you know. Ooh, yes I do. A long forgotten base in U.S. territory outside the Patriots' control. The place where Liquid made his debut. Shadow Moses. His monument. Off the Alaskan coast in the Fox Archipelago. Shadow Moses Island. <coughs> if Liquid destroys JD and his GW assumes total control over the system, he'll have the world at his fingertips. And no one will be able to stop him. Not even the Patriots. You are the only ones who can save us now. Snake, I'm counting on you. Defeat Liquid and put an end to his insurrection. Those nipples, though. The snake nipples. You know, for a unhealthy old man, he, he's got really healthy nipples. That's the only thing that hasn't been, like, degenerating. The nipples. Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. Wow. Okay. He's got the Patriots' own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. <coughs> Things can't get any worse. Yeah, I would argue that. Face it, Snake. We've lost. Shut the fuck up, Otacon. Otacon. We never stood a chance. <laughs> Bro, it's love. It's not about winning or losing. This isn't a video game. No. We started this. <clears throat> and it's 
our duty to finish it. Damn straight. Girl, get out of my way. See, look at those nipples. Jesus. Sonny. No! Jack can't go. He's not ready yet. He, he needs to rest. Let me go, Sonny. No. Your dialysis isn't done yet. Snake. He's not ready yet. Snake. I'll be fine. That was from now on. Interesting. I'm living my life by my own will. Son, I'll release you. It's the only way I'll ever be free. Raiden, five years ago, that's not what I meant. I've got nothing to lose. <sighs> Don't be an idiot. You know you've got someone to protect. Stop being an emo. Was never going to work out for me. It even rained the day I was born. You've got it all wrong. You were the lightning in that rain. You can still shine through the darkness. No, don't say that. Ah. The lightning. <sighs> oh, that Lord. was hmm, way too corny Look for me. At me. No, that made me cringe hardcore. Ugh. Snake Two-Face. That's who I am now. Do you see this? It hurts like a bitch. I have no future. In a few months, I'm going to be a weapon of mass destruction. You... You have a family. I, I have no family. I have nothing. Feels right there. The feels. Sonny's like, You got me, bro. Don't leave me here. 
here. Alone. Well, when you put it that way... This is my fight. Rejected! My destiny. <laughs> He's like, wow. Snake, you're a douchebag. Asshole. We are 45 minutes in and, uh... Dr. Emmerich? Man. Man. It's a long cutscene. I got the results back. It's official. He's on Shadow Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal along the way, but the ship was headed in the direction of Shadow Moses. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. The sea line is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. Hmm. Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. The president of Arms Tech and the DARPA chief were killed, and the Secretary of Defense was arrested. Yeah, I remember that. By the time the Shadow Moses incident was over, there wasn't a single person left there who knew what took place. It was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. What about on a we're exiled to desk jobs for the same reason? Natasha's Rex book and the should still be where they were nine years ago, untouched. A forsaken island, a haven. Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island, <coughs> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. <laughs> I'll say. It'll take me a while to get there, but I'll be backing you up from aboard the Missouri. She's the only ship in the fleet still able to move. Since it was decommissioned before the system was put in place. And Hawaii's not that far away. Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, I... yeah, yeah. I switched to contacts. <laughs> we rendezvous at Shadow Moses. Thanks, Hotness. I still want to bang you. Mm. Hell yeah. He who submits to heaven shall live. He who defies heaven shall perish. Who was that? Sun Tzu? Confucius? I, I don't know. Buddha? I have to atone for my past, too. Yeah. Rex is a beast. Born from my research. Let's go. Shadow Moses awaits. Oh man. I love chapter four. I, I don't I'm not fond of the gameplay of chapter four because we're dealing with machines basically. So it kind of ruins the stealth for me, just just like an army of those little things, I forget what they're called. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the way stealth works in Chapter, or in Act 4, but I just love the nostalgia feel, just how beautifully Shadow Moses was reconstructed. So in that sense, I uh, love Chapter 4. But okay, you guys know what, I've been sitting here for almost 50 minutes. So I think this is a good place to end it for today. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna save it. Uh, I might as well save it here. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, subscribe to Young Place if you haven't done so yet. In the next episode, we'll get to gameplay hopefully. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.